so I have just discovered this Brazilian movie. Its English title is The Way He Looks, and I have been re-watching it, trying to be able to put into words what it is that I really love about it. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the film with limited spoilers. I'll just tell you if the ending is happy or not, and some of what I noticed. So it is an adorable coming-of-age story about Leonardo, a high schooler who is blind and finds himself falling in love with Gabrielle, a boy who is new in class. The third character is Giovanna, Leonardo's best friend who has been by his side growing up and always looks after him and who becomes jealous of the way Gabrielle just walks between their friendship. I feel like I do not get easily caught up in romances on film, but something about the gentle tension that is built up as Leonardo wonders if a relationship with Gabrielle is even possible is so moving. Impossible, Leo. Sorry. Gabriel, é fácil. Ó. A locomotiva soltou um. Como é que eu vou saber que você tá falando a verdade? Vai ter que confiar. Dá aqui sua mão. Ó. Soltou um forte. Ó, isso aqui é impossível. É impossível, sério, eu desisto. Não Gabriel, não é impossível. Eu vou demorar muito tempo pra aprender isso lá. Possível é eu andar de bicicleta, Gabriel. Não isso. Oi. Oi, Gabriel. Oi. Vocês querem um suco, alguma coisa? The happy ending, spoilers, is satisfying, especially because some repeating images are used, such as Leonardo standing up to show his bravery in this experience. The easiest way for me to dive into what I like about a movie is through camera techniques, so let's take a look. There are several scenes in which the camera does not move much, um, not switching to other characters, sometimes not following them as they walk off stage, leaving Leonardo in the center. This seems to mimic some of what it must be like to rely on sound only to understand what is going on. Qual que é a graça de um eclipse? Ah, ver a lua sumindo do céu. Como assim sumindo? Ah, ela desaparece do céu. Quer dizer. Ela deixa de ser iluminada. Ou seja... Quer ver? Sabe quando você está tomando sol e daí você sente calor em um lado do seu rosto? Então, esse mesmo lado do seu rosto também está sendo iluminado pelo sol. Mas o que, que isso tem a ver com o eclipse? Espera um pouco. Many of the zoomed-in scenes are emphasizing the senses, obviously besides sight, that Leo is experiencing, usually touch, which fits in well with the sensuous tone of many moments. Aqui está o sol, a terra e a lua. 
o sol ilumina a terra, ilumina a lua, assim como ilumina seu rosto. <risos> o eclipse acontece quando os três ficam perfeitamente alinhados. Aí aquela luz que iluminava a lua deixa de iluminar. E como a gente só vê o que é iluminado, a gente não enxerga mais a lua. Going along with how Leonardo's perspective is shown, some moments are cut out completely if they do not offer any importance to our blind protagonist. This seems like an obvious move for storytelling in general, but it brings some less obvious choices in the case of this film, like having an important scene in which characters go to see an eclipse, and the eclipse is not shown, nor is included the moment in which the eclipse happens. Leonardo's sensory input is emphasized. Aqui é o 211? É aqui sim. Como é que se chama? Gabriel. Pode entrar. That being said, the medium of the film also plays with what is available to the audience, but not Leonardo. For example, there is a shower scene in which Gabrielle is staring and is clearly attracted to Leonardo, and that gives the audience information that our protagonist lacks. aspects of the film make it appeal to everyone's blindness in a way and how we are sometimes helplessly overcome with feelings and finding our way through messy complicated relationships. We can choose to focus on those people who bring light to give us hope that what seems impossible may not be.